Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm showing you how to make your footage look like a drawing in Adobe Premiere Pro. I guess more like a painting, but this is what we're gonna end up having the footage look like right here. Really, really stylized, but it has a, a neat little flavor to it that I think would fit pretty well in any sort of travel vlog or anything like that. So let's get started. This is actually a really simple effect to pull off. All we're gonna be using is actually two effects and an adjustment layer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into project, we're gonna go down here into the new item button. We're then going to go up and click on adjustment layer. Once we've created our adjustment layer, we're gonna drag it onto the footage right here, extend it out right like so, click on the adjustment layer, and then go over here to the left and go into effects so that we have our effects panel open right here. So what we're gonna look for is we're gonna go into video effects, then down to stylize, and then we're gonna look for two effects in here. The first one is going to be find edges. So we're gonna grab find edges, we're gonna drop that on here, and you can see that what it's gonna do is just find the edges. What we want though is only that black part to stay. So if we wanted only the, so for example, if we inverted this, and we could use screen to keep only the white parts, but what we want is to keep it normal and to only have the black part. So instead of screen, what we're gonna use is multiply right like so. You'll see that the black lines have still been kept in here. And now we've started to get that, it looks like someone actually drew in the lines here. Next we need to sort of quote unquote degrade the footage just a little bit because paintings aren't as crisp and clear as real life. What we need to add in there is that sort of roughness to it. So what we can do is we can actually add in the effect right here called posturize. What this is gonna do is it's going to basically reduce the amount of color variation in here. So it'll actually create like banding um, in the skies and stuff. So if you have two, it's just going to basically be selecting off a very, very small color palette. Well, if we move up to near infinity 255, it's gonna go back up to what's normal. So we're just narrowing the range of colors and sort of exposures that can be selected. And by doing this, we actually make it look a little more realistic because a painter doesn't have a palette of a million colors. They have a few colors that they put together and then sometimes they combine them into different colors. But what you can do with this is sort of mimic that just a little bit. So we're gonna go somewhere maybe around like 22. And now when we click on this, you can see that the colors have been degraded a little bit as well. It looks a little bit more like watercoloring. And you'll notice that the line will go red right here. You can click the enter key and it'll begin rendering out those uh, those frames right there so you can actually see it in real time. But what we wanna do is add one more effect onto here. This is perfectly fine, this is what I showed at the beginning, but you can actually go one step farther and if you add just a little bit of brush, brush strokes to this, it'll make it have a sort of brushed feel to it the whole time as well. And you can do all this stuff with the brush stroke, how long you want them, how short you want them, and you can really create a style from all of this. So let's go maybe about the length of uh, 11 here, maybe make the brush a little bit bigger. Back it off, we don't want it too bad. And now we kind of have something neat here. We have this like, it looks very brushed. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click enter and I'm gonna show you the final product of this. And there you have it. It actually took about six or seven minutes to render this out, but here is the final piece right here. And you see that it may be a little bit extreme with this strong of a brush, but it does give it that sort of brushed feeling and it almost looks like a painting in motion, which is really neat in and of itself. But that is basically it. That is how you do it. Uh, really, all you need to use are the the find edges and the posturize effects. Those will get the majority of the effect. And then you can use that brush strokes to sort of edge it a little bit closer to a painting and use it just however you want to make it um, however much of a painting you want it to be. But that is it. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website, adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go down to the subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.